つまりナンパだとでも違うみたいですねお昼食べ始めて早々に会話に行き詰まりましたからすみません私学校行ってないので遊んでる女って見られがちで Days with my stepsister episode number 11 and I legitimately I'm gonna talk some negatives I'm gonna talk some opinions I'm gonna give you kind of my feedback on the episode kind of like I always do but I definitely wanted to convey right off the bat I really liked this episode and I actually think you know in all 11 episodes so far of Days with my stepsister I think this is easily top three I don't want to say it's the best episode of this season but I think it's definitely top three and it just fits everything that I think the show is trying to accomplish tone narrative um, I'm gonna say tonality even though I know I said tone but like the tonality the 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 ambiance the 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 setting that is trying to convey and kind of like the storyline is trying to convey between these two characters splitting up between uh between Saki you know, uh, splitting up basically, you know, be between, uh, between Utah, you know, between Utah, between, you know, our two main characters, um, I think is the best, is the best thing for the show. I think more often than not, we get kind of like a one-sided view of the show. And what ends up happening is even in that one-sided view at times, uh, you know, which is typically Utah based, we won't really get his inner thoughts a lot. But this episode I felt like was really, really well done as we got uh, like one part Utah and one part Saki. And I really think that's where the show kind of excels is when it kind of gives us that 50-50 split. When it gives us those both insights on two individuals. And when it kind of gives us the two individuals living their two individual lives but then bringing it back together in the home space. I think that is just where the show excels. Now it's a very long-winded way to say like there are some things I did like about the show. Or, you know, about the episode. And uh, first off, let me say this, and then I'm gonna, I'll transition into my next statement. I think the biggest blight on this show, and it could be realistic, okay? So there's there very much could be people that, in real life, that genuinely would surround people like Utah and like Saki that are like this. But one of my nitpicks, one of my dislikes of this show is how there's people surrounded by these two individuals, mainly Saki for some reason, that seemingly have no problem pushing this narrative uh, or pushing this agenda that Saki should, should pursue her feelings for Utah and then reciprocally that Utah should pursue her uh, his feelings for Saki. Now, the only person on Utah's side that has truly pushed that narrative is the book the book uh the book school girl or the book girl or the 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 bookstore girl or whatever that's really the only person on uh Utah's side his other friend uh with the with the glasses you know he's made like a, a a sly side comment of like oh do you like her whatever but he never really pushed the agenda uh, at all he's just kind of been a supportive friend of like oh um this all makes sense of why you had an interest in her yada 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 he never really pushed that narrative, but on the Saki side of things, uh, you have her mother who has kind of hinted at it, you know, playfully, right? You know, uh, so it starts with that. Then you have her other friend, Maya, and Maya, I think, is the biggest um, proponent or the biggest person in her life that has kind of pushed like, oh, you should, you should pursue that. Then you have the uh, bookstore girl who's also on Utah's side who is kind of uh poked her nose in their business mainly because she also likes utah but she's conflicted uh and then now it introduced another character uh which is this i don't know what i don't know what the lady's name is but the the college professor lady and it's like okay how many people are going to be just completely ignorant of how things work like you know at the end of the day they're 16 17 years old and i've talked in nauseam about like at that age you can fall in love and out of love super duper quick. You know, first love doesn't last. You know, like I've said before, 99, probably 0.9% .9 of first love doesn't last. If if you if you can think back to your first girlfriend, your first, uh, first boyfriend, more than likely, 
it was a long time ago or you've moved on, you know, one, two, three, four people, you know, beyond that number, you know, whatever, or beyond that person. And you found somebody who, uh, you know, is better or different or whatever. Of course, you're always going to remember your first, you know, your first anything, you know, in life. But the reality is it probably didn't last and you moved on, right? Like, like if, if I got stuck with the, the first girlfriend I ever had, uh, you know, I, yeah, it just, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't work out. You know what I mean? So, you know, especially, you know, people who are older and adults, you know, who are pushing that narrative, it's like, you know, Hey, stop, think, use your brain for a second. No matter if they're siblings or step siblings, the reality is their parents are married. Don't fuck that up. So it's, it's, that's one of the things that I don't like about the show is just seemingly side characters pushing that narrative or agenda to pursue that because of feelings. It's like, well, it's young, young, dumb feelings. So now we introduce this new character, right? Saki goes and she visits this, uh, uh, she goes and visits this women's college. Uh, you know, she's going to pursue her studies. This is a public school tuition to be a lot cheaper than going to a private, uh, uni, you know, it totally makes sense. And, that's, it's, it's, that's reality, right? Like, I think if, you know, like over here, I had looked at a college. It's a Christian college, but um, I had looked at a college uh, or, you know, university out here where I live. And, um, yeah, it was two times as expensive as my local state university that was here. So I ended up going to state university because, you know, it was just a lot cheaper. Uh, eventually, I ended up going to a community college because it was a lot cheaper than that. Uh, but... You know, I definitely can definitely see the size as far as like expense and stuff. It's like, yeah, you definitely want to pursue something that doesn't hurt your pocket too much. That you can kind of fund yourself if needed, even working at like a bookstore or a coffee shop or something like that. So that totally makes sense. So she goes there and um, she meets this teacher, this very eccentric teacher where the bookworm, the book uh, store girl has, you know, kind of like been telling her a lot. She's kind of like a, a therapist type person. And she basically breaks Saki down. And, you know, you guys saw the episode, so I won't go over all of it. But essentially what she broke down was that uh, her feelings may be love and it may be romantic for Utah. But on the flip side, it could be more like attachment and it could be more like dependency. And there could be a feeling there of just, and I think I've said it before in past episodes, of just because they're in close proximity and he doesn't judge and he kind of understands her that's where feelings kind of surmise it because she's never dealt with an individual like that. So at first I was very much not on board with the teacher kind of like, you know, uh, also pushing this narrative, but she ended up coming back around with basically saying like, Oh, well, um, you know, you need to pursue building relationships with more people, not to go find a boyfriend basically, but to basically go and ensure or find out if there's other people who would have similar tendencies to her dependency or her, you know, affiliation with Utah. Because if she does, the more people you experience, the the less it'll it'll make you more disinterested in that love that you think might be brewing, as you might realize that there are more people who understand you than there than than you think there are, kind of thing. So I like the direction that the teacher pointed her in, and I think that could really change their mentality. On the flip side of things, so I did I genuinely like that conversation at the end of it. At first, I wasn't a big fan. On the other side, we have Utah. Uh, I love his um, meet, teacher meeting with Akiko, which is uh, Saki's mom. Saki's mom is just adorable and cute. I love that he, you know, basically you know, called her mom and stuff. And she did, he made her infinitely happy. I thought that was just a really, really cool, really cute moment. Uh, and I love that he was able to provide that for her because... You know, there's certain people that they just need that love. You know what I mean? Even if it is in that kind of sense. Like, I thought that was just a really cool uh, moment, not only for uh, Utah, but then really for the for the mob character. I also like this new character, uh, Kaho, I think is her name. Uh, she's a little tall. She's got, like, vampire red eyes and stuff. I thought it was really, really cool uh, that Utah's associating with her now. And they really hit it off, and I really like it. So, um I genuinely like it. You know, I think the show is still about 
ultimately I think it's still about Utah and Saki falling in love with each other. But I genuinely like these side characters that it has introduced to us. So we'll see what ends up happening. We only have one episode left, so I don't imagine we're gonna get too too much. We're probably not gonna get we're not gonna get a satisfying ending. We'll probably get some shitty cliffhanger or something. Uh, and this might be the only season we ever get updates with my stepsister. But regardless, um, I genuinely like the introduction of these characters. I do think though some of them are too little too late. I would have liked to see this a lot sooner. That way we can get more development and probably a better ending. But hey, we have one episode left, so let's enjoy it together, right? Well, my friends, I'll see you guys then. I look forward to seeing your guys' comments in the comments below. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.